Beautiful. What a win, that was great to watch. Um, yeah, coming off the back of a couple of tough losses, um, I don't know, uh, over the week in training and stuff, uh, what did you say to the girls coming into this game? Because I know it can be a bit disheartening. Um, what was your advice and what did you say to get them up beat? Um, I think we just, uh, we had a meeting and we just kind of reminded ourselves what our values were, um, what we want to stand for as Adelaide Lightning, how we want to come across to other teams, um, what we agreed to, to be as a group from the start of the season and just to check in with that. Um, and, you know, the girls then spoke about, um, you know, stuff personally for them. So I think it was a really good time to have a check in just to make sure that whilst we are in the position we want to be in, there is still a lot of the season to go for us um, and we still want to achieve certain things. So it was just a bit of a check-in um, and the girls responded tonight, especially when the chips got down, um, things weren't going our way, scoring dried up. So really pleasing to see them you know, stick together for 40 minutes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, on the offensive end, um, the third quarter, there was quite a few opportunities where the ball just dried out. Um, that's when Sydney got there. Yeah, I think we all stayed pretty calm, which is kind of what we've been focusing on the past couple of weeks. Um, so that was definitely a big thing, and we all just trusted each other to hold the ball and we trusted our players, um, and I think that really helped. Yeah, um, you had an awesome game. It was amazing. Um, how did it feel, like, on the court, um, the ball dropping for you? Um, yeah, good. Obviously, that helps a lot. Yeah. Um, but no, my teammates just had my back all night. Um, which made it feel so much better. So yeah. Good, good win. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, look, I, you know, like Breezy always does, she, you know, she is the, the backbone to our defence. Um, she's elite, elite defender. Um, so she ha has to do a lot of work for us. Um, and yeah, boarding in foul trouble, but I think she handled it pretty well. Um, I think we subbed her in with maybe eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter and she managed to, to you know, stay only with the fourth foul. So um, did a really great job in that. And then she was still aggressive at the offensive end, um, which is you know really good for a young player to be able to, to play under pressure in a tight game and not get a fifth foul. Um, and they were looking to go in her a little bit. So she did a great job in handling that. And you know the girls that, you know, Taylor Mole comes in and gives us great minutes. Um, and then we play a little bit of small ball and put Jocelyn Willoughby to the four, um, which was, you know, pinch some minutes there. So like I said, like Tonksy said, the girls stuck together. They had each other's backs and they, uh, they kind of just did whatever it took tonight to, to get us over the line. Yeah. Um. Uh, building, building on from what you said there about running small with Jocelyn at the four, is this something that you've worked on and is this something that you're going to look to continue to do? Uh, running small with either Borny or, or Breezy at the five with Jocelyn at the four? Yeah, look, we've done it a little bit this season, um, although it's not something that we traditionally practice um, at practice, you know, Joss had a chat with Joss before she came here and you know she's a three, she wants to be a three, she doesn't want to get stuck in that position but she's okay with, with flipping to it. Um, and she's so big and strong it kind of it works for us when we need it. Uh, they, they were picking us apart, pick and roll, so we had to go to switching so it kind of just made sense. Does our offence flow as well when she's there? No, because we don't practice it. Um, but our motion stuff, the girls were able to still get some great looks. Cool. Thank Thanks, guys. Thank you.